welcome to Ecology Chapter. Today we are at Putrajaya Wetland and we are going to study about ecology. Let's go! What is ecology? Ecology is the scientific study of the interaction between organisms and their environment. So we can summarize that ecology is the study of interaction between living and non-living things. Basically, we know living things need non-living things to survive. For example, without water and air, living things die. Living things in technical terms are called biotic factors, include plants, animals, bacteria, fungi, and more. While non-living things are called abiotic factors, for example, sun, temperature, water, gases, and soil. Ecology is studied at many levels, which include organism, population, community, ecosystem, and biosphere. Let's take a look at each level. Organism is the simplest level of organization in ecology. Basically, an organism is an individual living thing. Means an organism is a single living thing and can be animal or a plant. For example, here, we can see one single white pelican is standing in the lake. Then, next level is population. Population is a group of organisms that belong to the same species which live in the same area and interact with one another. We can say that population is a group of organisms. So, we can see here, there are two examples of population. Population of white pelicans hunting for food and population of bird flying around. In a community, you still have population of pelicans, but you also have other populations. A population of ducks and don't forget, plants are living things too. A population of tree also help to define a community. So, we can conclude that a community is made up of two or more population of different species that live in the same area and interact with one another. And for ecosystem level, ecosystem consists of various communities which include biotic or living components as well as abiotic factors or non-living components. Here, we can see biotic factors include plants, animals such as flamingo and other organisms while abiotic factors include rocks, temperature, and humidity. And biosphere is the highest level of organization. Biosphere is the biological component of Earth's system, which also include the lithosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere. Hydrosphere contain all the water on the surface of the Earth. It can be in the ocean, rivers, lakes, rains, and mists. Lithosphere is the outer solid part of the earth including landform, rocks and soils. An atmosphere contains thin, fragile layer of gases that surround the earth. These spheres are closely connected. They work together to influence the climate, trigger geological processes and affect life all over the earth. Biome is a community of plants and animals living together in certain kind of climate. There are seven different biomes found on Earth. The seven biomes are desert, grassland, tropical rainforest, temperate rainforest, temperate deciduous forest, taiga, and tundra. The main different biomes is climate and each biome has unique animal and plant. For desert, the climate is hot and very dry. Example of plant that commonly found in desert are the cactus. Grasslands are generally open, fairly flat area of grass with no trees. For tropical rainforests, the climate is warm and humid year-round, and heavy rain help keep forests lush and green. Temperate rainforests are found near the cooler coastal area further north or south of the equator. The forests usually fill with tall conifers and ferns. And for temperate deciduous forest, it's a biome that has many deciduous trees which drop their leaves in the fall. And for taiga, the climate has two seasons, cold winter and warm summers.
And the last one, tundra. The climate here is so cold and frozen. No trees can grow. Tundra is a flat and cold with low plants like grass and mosses that only grow during the short summer.